Hey everybody, it's Chaos, more Tales of Fantasia. Now, before I start this, before I really start this, first off, let me get down to what I need to be in the card. Second, a couple of quick notes. I've missed some skills with Clout, with um, Crest, that are more. If you want them, you'll have to hunt them down, because they aren't anything very vital, and I don't feel like going back and getting them. I've also missed a couple of spells with Arch, but they're kinda on the way, so I think I will probably pick them up while I am there. So... Darn it. Which port? Come on. Ah, yes. Arch's spells are on the way, so I think I will pick them up. By this point, they are really, honestly, completely useless, but they would have been nice to have early in the game, just to give Arch a little bit better selection of spells, but... Ah, well, can't fix what you can't fix. Boars and giant wasps. Ouch. Whoa! That hurt. I mean, it didn't actually hurt, but I'm poisoned, and poison always hurts, in all reality. I don't know that I will record very many videos tonight, and I've seen my college schedule, I, I'm planning on getting a job so I have some money, so recording is, is going to slow down, I mean, there's no ifs or buts about it. It is going to slow down. How much, I don't know, I don't plan on stopping. If I decide that I have to stop, I will make note of it. So that way you know. I think it'd be rude just to, you know, quit and not let anybody know. I don't know that I've actually posted a video saying that, but... Eh, maybe. Especially seeing as how I've got at least one Let's Play that I, I will do sooner or later. The game was Let's Played by someone else, it's a game very near and dear to me, and said person did not like the game and bashed it pretty badly, so I'm going to do it. I didn't actually watch the whole Let's Play, but, you know, when you see a game, that, I will grant you, it is not a perfect masterpiece. No, again, I don't consider any game to be a perfect masterpiece, there's no such thing as perfect, there's always something that can be improved. You know, I mean, and I'm going to go there. Final Fantasy VII. Hello. Eris died, so what? Phoenix down. Life. Later on, summon the Phoenix. Come on, people. That is my problem with RPGs where characters die. You have a ton of life recovery items sitting in your backpack. Use them. But oh well. Now, there are some RPGs that actually do write why you can't in, and it's not something stupid like, oh, well, um, the spell that they were hit with, they can't be revived from, it's a Vada Kedavra. No, that's not good enough, in my opinion. Give me something like, and I am going to make a reference. If you can guess the game, go for it. Like, you know, well, if we revive her, we also revive this evil villain. Yeah, that's much better. I like that as an excuse to leave someone dead much better, not just, oh, we're just going to leave them dead. Or, ooh, they can't recover from that spell. Well, why not? There's always a counter spell somewhere. Ah, buggles and bugbears. You get to die. Aha, you missed me. Oh, Arch missed you. Bad Arch. If you're going to cast, hit them. Now, in case you haven't already realized it, we are nearing the end of this section of the game. Oh yes, well, we are nearly ready to mug Marty and Dr. Brown and steal the DeLorean. Oh, wait, what's that? There's no DeLorean? Oh, well, well fine. We're about ready to go find a time machine and go back to Cress and Mint's present. Here we go, she's a half-elf master. She will sell spell books to Arch. We're going to buy them both. They're only 200 gold, so, you know, it's no big deal. It rounds out her 
magic a little bit more. Not that, honestly, I mean, these are, you know, more or less the equivalent of level 1 spells, so they're useless at this point in the game. We have much better spells, but, whoa, that one's 4,000. Probably not Debris Fault, it probably is still a good spell. At least that would be my guess, since it costs so much. Oh, and we gained a new title for it by doing that, so yay. Now. Okay, so that's where we need to go. So, in order to go to Thor, the ancient ruins, we need to go to this boat. Now, just to cover my butt, do do do. I will save state as. And then I will regular save state. That way, if I really decide I can't live without those skills or presses, I can come back and get them. But I'm not going to do that. I know what they are. So where to? The location of Thor in the ocean. One way. Once you do it, there is no coming back. So let's go to Thor. No music, just the mysterious ticking noise of silence. Captain, right here is fine. Here, yeah, yeah, sure. Yep. Yep, that, that, yep does not sound like something Klaus would ever say. I mean, he's just too eloquent and proper for that, but whatever. Now all we have to do is get to the bottom of the sea. Thanks for getting us this far. Har, don't mention it. Okay, now to summon Undine. Undine! Summony, summony, summon. She's like, what the fuck do you want? There are no monsters. Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to say that. I, it came out. What is thy bidding, master? More like she's probably thinking, there are no monsters. Why do you summon me, Jack? Undine, spirit of water. Take us to the very depths of the deep, dark sea. Your wish is my command. You know, technically, we didn't tell her that we had to live. She could just drown us. But she's nice. She's given us a bubble to enter. And she'll take us there properly, rather than just saying, Okay, and throwing us in and letting us drown. Which, frankly, if this were a real fantasy story, that's what had happened. And then be like, okay, take Klaus and throw him in. And they'd be like, oh crap, you killed Klaus. She'd be like, well, he said he wanted to go to the depths of the sea. Ah, now they were a strange lot. Our work's done here. Way anchor, you bilge rats. Indeed. Indeed. Goodbye, Captain. We won't be seeing you again. That is Thor. Obviously based on Atlantis. It is an underwater city, after all. Let me scroll down the guide here. The good news is, Thor has air. Wow! Is this really the bottom of the sea? Yeah! What's the sea above us? Uh, duh. Hey, don't go far away. Yeah, it's ancient ruins. There's likely to be all kinds of critters and monsters running around here. I don't know how it's done, but we seem to be surrounded by an invisible barrier strong enough to withstand the water pressure. I'm not going to cut off the video there, because it's a good place to cut it off. See you next video.